Jade Hill, the Lisa Stade and Hitler Obsessed YouTube channels with part two on the view of Anastasia. Now back to what I was saying about Rasputin. Uh, <clears throat> uh Rasputin did uh cause uh Alexei the Solovich of uh, Russia, the hail to the Russian bones, uh Hemophilia, uh, pain that he would get if he got like a little cut or whatever, that wasn't a bad thing. But if he got a bruise, that would cause a lot of swelling and clotting of uh, build up his, of his blood and the joints and stuff, you know, the area that he got bruised or whatever, if he fell down, it would cause him a lot of pain. So when Rasputin first turned up, he uh, performed whatever healing he did of the kid. And he said the, the salvage will live, he will survive, he will recover. And eventually, uh, Alexei's, Alexei did recover. <clears throat> and the, the royal family, the Romanovs of the last Tsar Nicholas II, uh, was pretty much disbelieved. Rasputin said, you know, this guy's a saint, he's a healer, he's a man of God, we'll call him if we need him. Uh, Knowing uh, Alexei uh, Solovich, he thought he was just like any other boy and was just, you know, uh, fun and games until he fell down and ended up in pain. Uh, somehow the parents probably really didn't explain to him how uh, his sickness uh, makes him different than other boys, but, uh, you know, I can understand, you know, my parents with my Asperger syndrome didn't want to shelter me. Uh, let me be as regular kids, but yet they were kind of more biased and bigoted, so. Oh, yeah, they, they, he could have five parents. I mean, that's what the likes of could have. He could have five, so. They yeah, wouldn't just shelter him, but probably a bit bigoted, so. so uh, don't discriminate him with hemophiliacs, and don't discriminate Aspies, I guess. Uh, all this uh, video. <clears throat> But yeah, while Solomon Nicholas II was away uh, during the fighting of World War One, he did appoint Rasputin as his uh, the advisor. Uh, he let actually Alexandra uh, be the one that controls the affairs of state and the government while he's gone fighting at the battlefield. And Alexandra made Alexandra made Rasputin, uh, whose full name is Gregory Von Bitch Rasputin. A uh, whole advisor at the time, and uh, he would always try to know point people he liked that supported him and liked him into positions of power. Also, moving those he didn't like or didn't like him. Uh, and eventually, saw Nicholas got word of this and said, "You know, Rasputin to be thrown out and banished back to you know uh, his village in Siberia." There. And he was, uh, pretty much banished, which is something they refer to, uh, in the movie, uh, that Rasputin was banished. Yeah, even though he turns up to the Zol and it's like, you know, I'm back. And the Zol's like, you know, uh, go away, uh, we got rid of you, uh, why are you here? Get the heck out of here. Uh, well, he just can't say on YouTube because of, you know, how AdSense is, I guess. Uh, not Montez yet, but you know, better practice there for the attempts. Uh, <clears throat> but yeah, Rasputin was told by Saul Nicholas, uh, you know, when he got back from the fighting, uh, for a bit there, you know, before he went back to the battlefront of World War One there, you know, for the Russians, uh, told Rasputin, yeah, uh, you're a holy man, stick to the torch and uh, the spiritual side. And uh, know whatever God in the Russian Orthodox Church and the Bible says for you, that's your domain, only there you you don't deal with government and politics. You know, it's, you know, kind of like uh, hate to use a reference of separation of church and state, but in this case, in a monarchy, <coughs> the affairs of church and of uh, state and Government was the business of the Tsar, or I guess in this case, when Tsar Nicholas was away, was the Tsarita, uh, Alexandra. But, you know, Rasputin actually, in this movie, did not have a wife that he actually had a 
cat that somebody tried to assassinate him. Of just he had enemies that did not like him in his lifestyle. Uh, with a bunch of these members of uh, the Stokrat. Uh, you know, very adult themed kind of cult there. I'm not going to go into that. So, and that did cause a lot of scandal, especially as the uh, uh, debauchery and his obscene behavior and, you know, and public indecency and stuff, especially around the cells so cult that he was just pretty famous for and uh, pretty much always just being drunk. Oh, passed out drunk, you know. Also, Vespita never had a white bat named Baltak. He had that cat that I mentioned there. I don't know what name it was or whatever. I remember that from reading about the guy. Uh, the references of of uh, Rasputin selling his soul in the movie. Uh, <clears throat> black magic and sorcery for this magical relic really to destroy the Roman Alps. He did not really want to destroy them, I think. Uh, he had this prophecy that if he was banished and killed by the people of Russia, the Tsar would be fine. If he was killed by a member of the aristocrats, which is what really happened, he was killed by uh, Prince Felix Yusufov, who modeled him uh, and dumped his body in River Nova after beating, clubbing, shooting, stabbing the guy, and after Rasputin ate pretty much uh, the way to kill a full blown um, African male elephant and probably ate off his <laughs> of uh, lysed, uh, cyanide lysed, and spiked wine, of, uh, also lysed, uh, or spiked with cyanide there, of uh, these cream cakes that Rasputin liked, they just ate a handful of and drank and uh, was like, he's not dead yet, <laughs> let's shoot him, oh he's not dead yet, let's stab him, well oh, he's not dead yet. Let's uh, club him. Oh my gosh, he's up and running and chasing us. Let's try to get rid of him. Eventually, they got rid of him when he tried to reach the gate at uh, Prince Yusuf's palace before he's uh, rolled up in a rug and dumped in North River. And he did drown. And uh, the, the autopsy of Rasputin was that he didn't die from all that stuff I just mentioned, he died from drowning. Just weird. Uh, he got shot, killed, stabbed, poisoned. Hitler, he just takes a cyanide capsule and shoots himself, and that's the end of the guy. What gives Adolf? <laughs> you old, evilest guy, and he just did two little things, but I don't know what Rasputin has. Uh, the luck. Maybe evil. Maybe he's more evil than Hitler, I guess. Uh, but yeah, the references of black magic, yes, a lot of people did believe he was into that. I don't know if he was into that. Uh, <clears throat> but he is famous for his prophecy, I know, about the Zola's family. The Valkyrie that he uses as a weapon or whatever is just more based off just Hollywood. Because no, they gotta get something and tell the history books and history professors and stories to go F off and I uh, give something that's entertaining to the kids, so I guess Rasputin gets to be the villain. Yay. <laughs> but, um, you know, um, yeah, and the next scene that I remember is that Hitler, not Hitler, sorry. I know I mentioned this guy, that obsession, I know. I know, I, I make a lot of Hitler videos, and I get a lot of likes on this stuff, uh, and it's gonna get to the point of how am I gonna branch out, <laughs> I'm wondering. Uh, but Rasputin, uh, in the movie does, I guess, become like a member of the Walking Undead, and I guess that reference all the stuff he was put through, I guess, like he was just invincible. I guess if you would explain to a kid the most easiest way you would just tell him that he's a zombie, I guess. Like, yet again, F off the history books and the fossils somehow throw the history books out the window with uh, Hitler and the Nazis, I guess. <coughs> and they'll turn up a little bit later on in this thing, yo. Uh, why aren't they there in Germany in 1929? But yeah, uh... Rasputin actually never in the movie 
uh, has any connection to the Bolshevik Marxist uh, revolution, which in the first place, it isn't the Bolsheviks that take over Russia. They come afterwards in 1917 when there was a Ruff Russian revolution where they stole me the palace. And yes, they do actually topple a statue of the Tsar there. Uh, <clears throat> Rasputin has no connection to this whatsoever. Uh, so that in the movie is not historically accurate. Uh, he never tries to kill the Romanovs himself or drown in the process of doing that. In the, so that's not even historically accurate also. Uh, the best we can never, I guess, uh, in the history books from what I read, uh, I guess definitely used demons, so they had those little minion demon things. Uh, that I don't know from research. But maybe there's a conspiracy theory out there, but I don't go into that stuff. Well, about the facts and the history of this channel on YouTube, it's kind of like the bastion of where the history channel used to be until the old days of uh, ancient aliens and hunting it. So it destroyed our wonderful, beloved history channel. Uh, but yeah, in the movie, though, is the Dimitri kid that does turn up in the Ball, who's a servant or kitchen boy that uh, uses the secret passageways uh, in the palace from a secret door into Anastasia's bedroom <coughs> to uh, help Anastasia or muzzle her grandmother down with jumpers from a flee from the revolutionary soldiers. Like I said, uh, 1917 revolution uh, had the provincial government and that was to be the thing that would be for the Russian Revolution, actually, of the uh, Bolsheviks turned up in 1918. They would turn up later. But originally, the Romanovs were not killed in the palace. They were first held in, uh, <coughs> in uh, the, the palace under house arrest and pretty much brought constantly by guards there uh, as prisoners in their own palace, their own home. Kind of like how we all felt now we're doing the pandemic, except we didn't have guards uh, with uh, guns watching us. We just had this invisible like thing that was like the Nazis just killing everyone. Uh, and then the rush, the Romanovs moved to Tobolus, which is another uh, Russian village in Siberia, and then moved uh, by the Bolsheviks to the House of Special Popes, where they were uh, massacred. Uh, and so, like I said in the movie, bring back to the movie here, <clears throat> they had uh, Anastasia falls while trying to grab onto his poor grandmother's hand uh, and loses consciousness. And right now I'm going to end with part two and go on to part three. So, this is Lisa Stade here signing off, telling you, uh, everyone here on YouTube to become a subscriber to my YouTube channels of Lisa State and Hitler Obsessed. Hit the notification bell to get uh, updates when I upload things, notifications here on YouTube. Leave a comment on this video or any of the videos on my channels of Lisa State and Hitler Obsessed. Like this video or any of my videos on my YouTube channel of Lisa State and Hitler Obsessed. Donate to my Patreon. Donate to my subscribe store. Go to bitchute.com to see my bitchute channel, my videos on my bitchute channel of Lisa Marie State. You can send me a friend request on facebook.com on my Facebook account of Lisa State or send me a comment on Lisa State. I will not support any uh, any catcalling or anything. Uh, God forbid, I only allow Adolf Hitler to do that. That's the only guy. Unless you're the athlete of Hitler, you can call me something. You can call me pretty. You can comment me on how good I look, how wonderful my eyes are, how wonderful my videos are. I, I love uh, my ego being stroked a bit somehow. Not really. I'm not an ego. Ego maniac. Like I hurt more. But I'll leave you off and say bye now. I want to put, uh, put, uh, put three of this video.